In this instructional video, we will show you how to carry out a CTDI measurement using the Piranha together with the RTI Mover and CT Dose Profiler. The Mover is used in situations when no CT table movement is possible or desirable. We will measure in a CTDI Phantom using the Mover, CT Dose Profiler Probe, the Piranha and the Ocean software. When using the mover together with a CTDI Phantom, we recommend that you use a collimation of 40mm or lower. If you want to measure on wider collimations, we recommend that you measure free in air. It is important that you know how your CT works and what parameters you want to measure. It is also important that you are familiar with how the CT dose profiler works. We start by showing how to assemble the mover. The mover kit contains the following parts. The mover itself, plastic tube to protect the user from the wire, this is the longer one of the two plastic rods, this one has a slit, a wire to attach the CT dose profiler, plastic tube to support the CT dose profiler during free in air measurements, probe extension rod for free in air measurements, USB cable to connect to your laptop, USB extension cable, base plate with flexible quick mount. The mover has four controls. A screw to attach the plastic tube used for supporting the CT dose profiler during free in air measurements. A release button to insert and release the wire inside the mover. A spring loaded pin to attach the protection tube. And a knob to manually move the wire. Note that the mover doesn't have an on off switch. It powers on automatically when you connect it to a USB port. Therefore, it is important to disconnect the mover after measurements. Otherwise, the batteries in the mover will get drained. Mount the mover onto the base plate. Attach the protection rod by pulling up the pin. Position the rod with the slit on top on the mover towards the pin. Remove the plastic top from the CT dose profiler and attach the wire. Push down the release button and push the wire into the mover. Place the phantom on the table and fixate it properly. Align the peripheral holes to be in correct position. 12, 3, 6 and 9 o'clock. We recommend that the mover pushes the CTDP compared to pulling it. Insert the CT dose profiler into the center hole of the phantom and position the mover so it is in line with the CT dose profiler. By using the quick mount, you tilt adjust the position of the mover. Connect the cable to the CT dose profiler and the piranha and then turn it on. Put PMMA rods in all the other holes and position the active detector in the CT dose profiler at the very end of the phantom, close to the mover. Move the table and align the phantom so it is in the ISO center of the CT. Also verify that the axial laser is in the middle of the phantom. Connect the mover to your laptop with the USB cable. If needed, use the USB extension cable. Set up your CT to be ready for the measurements. Since this is done differently on different CTs, we will not guide you through this step. Start Ocean 2014 on your laptop or tablet. For this measurement, we will be using an existing template in Ocean. Open the Library tab and go to Real-Time Display Templates and extract Examples, RTI, Applications, CT. Choose CTDI, CT Dose Profiler, Mover. A hint will appear. When ready, click OK. Ocean will now prepare for CTDI measurement. Open the Equipment tab. Choose the brand of your CT. 
This can be done under the Manufacturer drop-down menu. To specify the model of your CT, click on the binocular symbol and choose the model. Click OK. These steps are done to help Ocean to extract all the measured parameters out of just one exposure. If you know the total inherent filtration, you can add that too. Otherwise, you can use Ocean's default value of 7 mm of aluminium. You change this value under the tab Tube. Close the Equipment tab. Now, select your CT Phantom type in the drop down menu, in this case, a body phantom. Enter the following information from CT Console into Ocean the set KV, collimation. This is the thickness of the total detector area used in the CT. Sometimes you have to calculate the thickness yourself. The scan length. This parameter must be added if you want to get the dose length product. Tube rotation time. Go over to the mover tab and check speed and distance. For a standard CTDI measurement, use the highest speed available. The distance should comply with the length of the phantom. We are now ready to do the first measurement. Start the measurement process on your CT. Wait for the delay that occurs in some CTs. Press start in the Ocean software and the probe will move through the X-ray beam. The measurement process is now complete. With just one scan, Ocean has collected values for CTDI 100, CTDI weighted, CTDI volume and dose length product. You can study a complete view of the dose profile. In the graph you can see two red lines. The dose between them is the CTDI 100. Save the data. To print a customised report, just go to Reporting. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit our website at rtigroup.com.